Hi guys, good morning. Well, actually it's not even the morning. It feels like morning to me because I just got back from a shift at Solid Core and then I took a class um, right after my shift. And then as you can tell, I just took a shower. All that to say, it is not the morning, but it still feels very early. Maybe because I'm just now getting like a start on the rest of my day, but happy Vlogmas day 17. I almost said day 16. Today is the 16th, which makes sense. But um, yes, happy Vlogmas day 17. We have a busy day today. As you can tell, and as I just said, I just took a shower. I'm going to style it with my Dyson Airwrap. Hi, little one. I'm currently in my skims pajamas just so that I could be comfy while getting ready but then eventually I am going to have to get dressed at least just from the top up I might honestly just keep on my pajama bottoms but I have to film a couple TikToks and acting self tape and submit that today hi you guys she really is just the sweetest I mean like come on have you ever seen a cuter face but yeah a lot to do today probably mostly just around the house Although, who knows? There might be some errands that I need to run. Um, I'm going to grab my Dyson, though, because I feel like my hair is finally getting dry. Usually, I actually use the blow-dry tool to dry my hair, like, 70% of the way. But I feel like my hair air-dried very quickly today, so I might be able to just skip that step and go directly into styling my hair. You know what I just realized? I can probably set you guys in my bathroom cabinet if I just move a couple things. Why have I never done this before? Oh my God, I've lived in this apartment almost a year now and I never thought to do that. curls out at all so this is not the finished product although it does kind of look kind of fun and like very Farrah Fawcett like but I just wanted to show you guys the um, new hairspray that I've been using this is the living proof flex hairspray I like something that is still going to allow my hair to not be super hard like it's still very touchable and movable but it just gives a little bit of structure to the hair and then I'm just gonna use a little bit of oil in my hair this is the Olaplex Number seven, bonding oil. I actually really do like this stuff. The only thing I don't love is that it doesn't have much of a scent. And I personally really like when my hair oils have a scent just because, I don't know, I feel like it lingers. And I just love, I don't know, when, when a hair oil gives a really nice scent. So whenever I like move my hair or, you know, like I just feel like it helps kind of like keep your hair fresher for longer when it has a scent, if that makes sense. Other than that though, I really like it. I feel like this is one of those hair oils that it doesn't matter how much you use your hair doesn't get weighed down the last thing i'm going to do with my hair and you guys this is such a hero product um is i'm gonna use this hair finishing like serum or not serum like a like a gel almost but it's it's like in a wand applicator so literally just like a brow gel or mascara it's just a much bigger wand but it's great for taming flyaways or in my case you guys might have been able to tell i have this really stupid piece of short hair that um, I don't even really know what happened. Like I had my hair up in a ponytail one day and then the next thing I knew, I have this stupid piece of hair. Um, and it's finally like really starting to grow out, but just to make sure that it doesn't like flop in the middle of my forehead and blends with the rest of my hair, I like to use this hair gel to like push it back. It looks a little shiny where I put it just now because it's obviously still drying in my hair, but see how that instantly just made it blend in with the rest of my hair it's also great for laying down like flyaways if you have a ton at the top of your hair usually my hair oil takes care of that but if i have a piece of hair that's being you know extremely annoying that day the hair gel is awesome and i know we're getting close to christmas so most people's like shopping is done but i feel like that would make a really great like stocking stuffer but yeah hair is done i brushed it out this one piece is like being a little funny. There we go. I'm obsessed. I freaking love my Dyson, you guys. You know that. I feel like though it's part of my personality at this point. I just feel like it gives all the body, all the volume, all the shine. It's so good. It's so good. Okay, I am ready to film some self-tapes too, to be exact. I am going to change for the second one, but for this first one we have, I was going for like earthy tones. I don't know why, but I felt like earthy tones just kind of fit this self-tape in this particular Broadway show that I'm auditioning for. Um, so I have this sweater from Zara, this really pretty necklace from Ana Luisa, and um, I don't know why I said Ana, Ana Luisa. And my nails are like a nude earthy tone too. Hair looks good. 
Makeup looks good. For the second self tape, I'm gonna change into a more dramatic, bright lip. But for this first one, I just wanted to do something very neutral. Now, there is construction going on in the apartment above us, so I'm going to try and get this done as quickly as possible. And then I also have some TikToks that I need to film too, but first, we have to get the self tapes done. That's like the non negotiable. The TikToks, I technically have enough pre filmed that I can wait a few days, but I would like to film it today if I can, or film them today if I can, because my hair is nice and fresh and clean. <laughs> But for now, let's do self tapes. But I actually really do like my makeup today. I feel like my brows look good. I used my MAC brow pen and yeah, not anything too crazy with the skin, but glowy, natural. I used one of my new Makeup by Mario lip liners today. I really like that. Okay, gotta stop talking, gotta be productive. <laughs> little bit of a costume change. Ready for self tape number two. This is something a little bit edgier, so I put on a leather jacket, black tank top, same necklace. Um, and I did a darker pink lip. Just something, again, that's a little bit edgier, more fun, but I don't look like too overdone because I still want them to see me. For those who are not actors or who are not theater people on my channel right now, you're probably like, what kind of a turn has Vlogmas just made right now? But I guess this is fun because you guys are really getting to see all different sides to me and my life, including the theater side, which I do love so much, and that really is, like, what I want to do, um full time and that's what I was doing pre-pandemic. You know, I was acting, I was auditioning, my hair looks kind of crazy. And since I'm vlogging every day and showing you guys what I do each day, this just happens to be a really acting and auditioning heavy day. We're gonna film this last self tape and then I'll be ready to edit them and submit them tonight. I don't know why this is the first thing I thought of. I was just gonna show you, I'm about to put some cuticle oil on, but I was gonna say like the TikTok gorgeous, gorgeous girls. <laughs> apply cuticle oil but for real this stuff like has been such a game changer I'll link it down below it's literally from Amazon you get so much it's like $12 but this cuticle oil has literally helped me so much you guys know I've been dealing with really dry cuticles because of the weather but also just like washing our hands constantly sanitizing our hands constantly and so because I work from home and I also work at this table a lot anytime I'm at this table I'm just like okay let me apply some more cuticle oil so as you can tell it is later I'm in my PJs um, but I thought I would include a little haul in today's vlog because I wasn't expecting to get this package in the mail um, but it came early it came today so I figured let's sit down and do a little shoe haul because long story short I recently returned two pairs of shoes to Nordstrom. They just like didn't work out for me and they were um, pretty expensive. So if I didn't love them, I was just going to return them. And then when I went to do the return, I was looking around on the shoe floor and I actually basically just did like an even exchange and picked out some new shoes. I actually got three pairs. The third was just delivered to me today. They didn't have the color that I was looking for um, in store, so they were able to ship it to me. So yeah, let's do a little shoe haul before bed. So we got a little bit of vlog content, a little bit of haul content, it's fun. I cannot believe that Nordstrom actually had these in stock, maybe because I'm kind of buying them like a little bit earlier than what I would need them because they are open-toed shoes. But these are from Dolce Vita. I have been so excited to try a pair of their heels. I've heard that they are so comfortable. So many girls on TikTok and YouTube like have been wearing their heels and just that like they can walk in them all day and they're super comfortable and when I tried them on in store I was truly shocked. I love these because I feel like I can wear them casually. I can also definitely dress them up. I feel like in the spring and summer these are going to be like one of my go-to shoes. I'll have the exact like style and everything linked down below but here's what they look like. They are these beautiful like nude woven i would almost call this like a mule right because it doesn't really have like a back to it but i mean it is definitely like a heel you get quite a bit of height which is nice but these are so comfortable i don't know how they do it i love like the angular toe i love the color and like the thick braided straps this is one of those shoes that they had so many different colors it was very hard for me to pick and i feel like if i had the closet space and the budget i would buy tons of colors of this shoe just because it's so versatile but i thought you know what let's start off with just like a really basic kind of like taupey nude anyways super cute and definitely not bad in price especially for the quality and the comfort and then i got the same shoe but in two different colors and i'm kind of trying to decide whether or not i want to keep both or if I just want to keep one, and if I keep one, which one is it going to be? So over the next couple of days, I'm probably going to like try styling these and just kind of like live with them and see what I think. But like I said, they're the same shoe, just in two different colors. 
and they are from Jeffrey Campbell, which first of all, look at this box. I feel like this is something that you could honestly like frame. It is so cool. I do feel like that would be really cool to keep like the top of the box and do something with this like art wise. It's so cool. I love Jeffrey Campbell shoes, um, but this is actually my first pair, my first two pairs. If you watch a lot of fashion TikToks, if you watch like a lot of Jeffrey Campbell shoe TikToks, you've probably seen these already. They are trendy, but they're classic and I'm very excited to have them. I feel like there are tons of ways to style these. It's really gonna kind of get me out of my comfort zone a little bit, but also like the colors aren't crazy or anything. But I got these incredible cowboy boots from Jeffrey Campbell. I'm having trouble remembering the exact style name. I think they're called like the, you know what? Let me just look it up so that I can actually tell you guys. Okay, these are called the Daggett cowboy boots. Um, so I got them in this really beautiful like off-white cream leather with the black heel which i really like this because i think it makes it more wearable for new york it's not like an all white cowboy boot and i like the fact that it's cream rather than a stark white so gorgeous though they have like the narrow square toe not too much of a heel i was shocked with how comfortable these were when i put them on um and you guys might be thinking like cowboy boots but like i said if you've been on like the fashion tiktok and like fashion side of tiktok you've probably seen this a lot like they're huge here in new york in la you can wear them with dresses jeans there's so many different ways to wear these but these are kind of everything i love the detailing i'm so excited and then um so i really like that cream color they said that they had just gotten it in to nordstrom like that day um so hopefully Hopefully I can link it if it's like already dropped on the website, but I'm not 100% sure. However, this color I know I can definitely link because it's been around for like a while, much longer than the cream. It's probably one of the first colors that they came out with. Um, and this is the color that I did have to order, but I got the classic black ones. They're so pretty. And what I like about them is they're definitely black, but they almost have a little bit of like a washed quality to it. Not that it's muted or anything. It just has a little bit more like depth to it if you can see and that way i guess you can really also see like the stitching on the boot so cute though exact same style cannot wait to wear these let me know what you guys think should i keep both colors should i just keep one um i feel like there are benefits to having both but i could also definitely just keep one color and be perfectly happy and i feel like because they're both like neutrals they're pretty interchangeable but i don't know let me know what you guys think but there you guys have it that is it for not just my haul but today's vlogmas video i really hope that you guys did enjoy it i need to get to bed because i have a shifted solid core tomorrow and another very busy day where I'll be running around a lot in the city. So I'm definitely vlogging. I'm not doing a sit-down video tomorrow because I want to take you guys with me. If you guys know the drill, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on all of my other social media networks. I hope that you guys are staying safe, happy, and healthy. I love you all so much. Truly, thank you for watching, supporting me. Um, and if you want, let's chat in the comments. I feel like we haven't, like talked a lot during vlogmas just because it's been so busy but i definitely want to hear from you guys so yeah leave a comment if you just want to chat say hi have a question comment whatever and i will see you guys tomorrow for another day of vlogmas bye guys